lights. Yeah, it's still not light. It's still not light. It's still not light. I, I wrote it on the board. I had, hadn't mentioned it yet. Now, we've been talking about the economy. We've been talking about the Federal Reserve. We just finished talking about inflation and why inflation is bad. Because you're putting money into circulation. You basically have no substance behind it. There, there's nothing to back up the money. Now, if you inflate, if you add money you know, and inflate the economy, the money that's in circulation becomes worth less. And if you add enough money, the money that's in circulation becomes worthless. So inflation is bad. Now, Alan Greenspan tells us that we need the economy to be inflated about 5%. Now, wait a minute. Why would that be true? If inflation is bad, why would 5% inflation be good? Well, if you woke up tomorrow morning and everything cost you twice as much, wouldn't you be a little bit concerned? I mean, wouldn't you, like, you know, call your congressman and say, wait a minute, how did you guys do that to us? <coughs> well, if they inflate the economy five cents a year, you know, and so bread starts out as a dollar a loaf, and in December now it's a dollar five. Are you going to write your congressman and say, wait a minute, bread went up a nickel? No, probably not. You know, it's, it's you know, not worth enough. To, to worry about. Well, then the next year is up to dollar ten, and then dollar you know sixteen, and you know so on. Inflation is bad. The reason that they inflated at five percent is because it's not so bad that we're going to notice or complain. How many people know the story about how to cook a frog? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, basically that's what they're doing. They're doing it in little increments so that we don't get irritated. Well, let's get irritated anyway. Now, inflation is bad. Let's talk about deflation. October 1929, stock market crash. Oh, terrible, terrible stuff. Accident, right? No. The stock market crash was deliberately caused. You know, you can read books on that. They deliberately caused the crash of the stock market. Now, if that was the only thing that happened, the stock market would have, you know, been recovered in about, you know, three months. Okay, no problem. Is the stock market crash caused the Great Depression? No. What caused the Great Depression? Anybody have any idea? They took the money out of circulation. They took the money out of circulation. They contracted the money supply. In October, the day that the stock market crashed, the amount of money in circulation was enough so that each man, woman, and child could have $2,400. So if you spread it all out, everybody would have $2,400. A year later, guess how much money was in circulation? $14.50 per person. From 2400 to fourteen. If you're paddling down the river in a canoe and somebody sucks all the water out of the river, where are you going to go? You're going to be sitting there going, what happened? Now, the Great Depression, was that because you didn't have enough people to work? Were people sitting around going, you know, I'm just not going to work today? No, you had people begging for jobs, please hire me. Why can't they hire you? Because we got nothing to pay you with. I want to buy that apple. Okay, give me a dollar. I don't have a dollar to give you. Money is just supposed to change hands. There wasn't enough money so we could do our business. And the economy came to a grinding halt on purpose. So now we say, oh my gosh, a terrible, terrible trouble. We've got this national emergency. Whatever will we do? Oh gosh, I know. Let's elect Frank Franklin Delano Roosevelt, a socialist. And he's going to pass all these New Deal programs. Did the New Deal programs eliminate the 
The depression? Mm -mm. No. How did they cause it? Taking money out. How did they end it? By printing money. Oh, son of a gun, everything is better. Thank you, FDR. How stupid can we be? It's like, you know, watch the little birdie over here and with the other hand they're, you know, slicing our throat. So the Federal Reserve Bank is supposed to be, you know, working in our favor? No. Is the Federal Reserve Bank part of the government? No. People say, well, it's got federal in it. It's got to be part of the government. Is Federal Express part of the post office? <laughs> no. Just because it's got the word federal? Anybody ever order federal pizza? It's like, oh my gosh, this must have the government stamp of approval. <laughs> How come there's no pepperoni? You know, just because it's got the word federal in it doesn't mean anything. And you can prove it to yourself. Go to the phone book. Go to the blue pages where all the government offices are. You know, post office, you know, police departments and stuff. Show me Federal Reserve Bank. It's not there. Flip back to the white pages, find Federal Express, and you may be lucky enough to find it just, you know, a couple inches away from there. It's a private corporation. It has never been audited. Now, why was Abraham Lincoln assassinated? Green guy. <laughs> Stood in front of the bullet. Now, Abraham Lincoln was fighting the Civil War, and he wanted money. You think bankers are willing to loan him money? You bet. You want that money? Sure thing, Abe. It's going to cost you 30%. Abe said, no, 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 no. I've got enough problems on my hand with the war. I'm not going to make more by you know, borrowing your money at 30%. So Abraham Lincoln printed new money. He, well, he went back to Washington. He says, what am I ever going to do? And his treasurer says, print money. Fifth, you know, the, for Article 1, Section 8, Clause 5. Coin money and regulate the value thereof. That's one of the things the government can do. So Abraham Lincoln printed money with green ink on the back. Up until then, money was black and white. Why did he put it on green ink? So he'd be able to tell which ones were which. So he printed a couple million dollars, put it in circulation, won the Civil War, and then started taking all those monies out. Anything with a green back was taken out of circulation. So for a short period of time we had inflation, but at least we didn't pay interest on it. And he pissed off the bankers because he wouldn't play their game. Bang! Everybody wants to know, whatever happened to JFK certainly was not Oswald. No. I mean, who can believe I mean, you can't even get three bullets out of the gun that fast, much less aim. Anybody who's used a bolt-action rifle knows that. Now, on uh, page 26, I've got a, uh, a short commentary on just perhaps why JFK might have been killed. JFK... Uh, decided to eliminate the power of the Federal Reserve Bank to strip its m power to loan money and start printing federal uh, uh, treasury notes. Start printing it by the government the way it's supposed to do. And that was with Executive Order 11110. 111 -11 and I've got Executive Order 11110 listed right there. And it says, by virtue of the authority vested in me, um, by the present paragraph such and such of May 12, 1933, okay, to issue silver certificates against any silver bullion, silver, or standard silver dollars in the Treasury, not then held for redemption. So JFK was going to.